I'm asking you a question now, and I, you have to answer this question, okay? Okay, okay, bring it on. Do you ever behave a certain way? Someone comes and they call you out on it. They rebuke you. They, they, they say that what you did isn't okay, All right? What's a knee-jerk reaction that one who is, let's say, not worked on themselves is it really, what, what do we generally do? Find an excuse why you did whatever you did. Right. We defend ourselves. We like, no, you don't understand. How many excuses can you come up with, like to, to be able to pot to, to, to exempt yourself from whatever they're they're you know holding you up with? How many? One, two? Depends how good of, of a you know person. I'm saying how good of a I guess for lack of a better word, the player the guy is. Like yeah, exactly how good of a liar you are, right? A liar. Basically, we basically it's like we come up with like a million excuses. Like mm-hmm. you don't get it because I would. You don't know me, and even if you did, I missed the thing and the stuff and the what and the who and the that and the. Uh, right? We come up with all these different reasons why. What about when we see someone else do something wrong? We judge them right away immediately. <laughs> I can't even think of one reason why that was okay. Now look how close, Rabbi, come on. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, judge favorably. Yeah. You can come up with a million reasons why you're okay, but you can't even come up with one for them. Like, come on, let's be real. So here's, here's my suggestion. Ready? Watch this. Kishot is understood to mean fix, but the word kishot also comes up in other areas in, the, in, in Jewish literature, which, which means to adorn. To adorn oneself, it's kshot means to wear. Comes up by the laws of Shabbos about of Sabbath when people are wearing things that they go out into public domains and whatever it is. To kshot kshita is to adorn yourself. So this is what I want to share with you. Instead of looking at it as fix yourself, then fix others, look at it as adorn yourself and then adorn others. Now, what does that mean? What that means is like this: the next time you see someone behaving in a way where you find a, you have a problem with it, I can't even think of one thing. This is what I'm challenging. Ready? Here we go. Put yourself in their shoes just for a moment. Pretend it was you that did that thing that was wrong. Just try to pretend it was you. Now, once it's you, you'll now be able to come up with a million excuses as per why it was okay. Kshotis atzmecha. Adorn yourself with one of the million. Go back to who you were. And now, Kishot Esachir, take that one that you excused yourself with, and now excuse them. Wow, Rav Gav. I think that's, oh. it's another oh. way of saying your idea of after the Chakamoch, right? Just take whatever it was in you and put it on someone else with Kishot. So, of course, we can pot there. We can exempt other people. We can judge them favorably. We just have to put ourselves there. And that's why my favorite is don't judge until you've been in their place.